Why well, this new generation kill me, dog? You can tell y'all daddies wasn't real. Y'all was raised by some busters. The shit y'all do today on Instagram to be to go viral or uh, for people to pay attention to you is weak. And it says a lot about your character. Y'all ain't nothing but some suckers. All this talking about dead people online after they die and all this stuff, man, that's y'all suckers. Y'all ain't real. Call yourselves gangsters. The gangsters I know ain't nothing like y'all. Y'all a new breed of punks. Y'all said it. Stack five. Y'all a new breed of punks. Ain't got nothing to stand on. Don't stand for nothing. And just willing to demean the dead for popularity. That shit whack. And real ones don't do that. Hey man, we live at 45th and Hill talk do all kind of shit. Shout out Future TV. Okay. Tell it. I know it. Kind of Lola J45th. Lola 3 I'm trying to tell you the rest of the time, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to do it. No, I'm just going to do it. Give him 30 seconds in this bitch. Shalom. Like to give all other glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash, like your double others to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Salutations to all sincere Akio, push his word out across the four corners of the world. Just another GMS and transit lesson through the spirit. And a title going into this is that last generation. So within this modern society, they will refer to this last generation as Generation Z. And you think about this type of generation, they have no type of high regard toward humanity, just no type of respect, no type of moral values, no type of integrity, just a mindless generation. And you look into today's challenges that they be doing for social media purposes in order to gain more clout, more followers, more views to get that instant gratification. Look at the type of challenges that they be doing, which is nothing but foolish behavior, unwise conduct. And to us as the hopeful elect, the ones who are truly trying to obtain salvation within these last days by being obedient unto Yahweh Bashim Abishai, according to the book of 2 Peter, the third chapter, is stated, what manner of persons are ye to be in? All holy conversation and godliness. So you flip that according to what the mindset of two-thirds of our people are currently in, you will see that they are caught up into the foolishness of this world, which is the fashion of this world is going to fade away very soon. Unwise conduct. And I was just thinking in the spirit, like when you read to the second Ezra, the first chapter, the Most High, he's just boasting about the great miraculous acts that he did for us in the wilderness when we left ancient Egypt as a people. How he stated that he gave us Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. And all those miraculous acts that the Heavenly Father Yahweh was doing, you still had that wicked generation of our people who was still caught up into that unwise conduct, worshiping idols, doing everything that would provoke the Heavenly Father Yahweh to more anger. They were griping, they were complaining, they were murmuring by stating it would be better for us to serve the Egyptians to be here in this wilderness so you fast forward to the time frame Yahweh Shah actually came as himself into this world during the ancient Roman Empire when he was on his day of trial you had that same wicked generation in the process called reincarnation was coming against him was bearing false witness against him and that's why I stated in Jeremiah the 17th chapter the first verse how the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond because Judah represents the southern kingdom you so-called Negroes who was the main ones who gave up Yahweh Shai unto those Romans who are Edomites so you sold your savior out so that's why I stated within Jeremiah the 17th chapter that great sin that great iniquity that you did by giving up Yahweh Shai to those Romans it is graven upon the table of their heart, meaning your mind. So it's etched in. And the only way you're going to pay by that is by blood. And that's why you're seeing all these jakes nowadays are catching hell, getting gunned down, pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the third chapter, over to the latter part of that chapter, goes into how thy men shall fall by the sword. 
And that's why these jakes are getting put to death on a great scale. And you have these people who are not spiritually inclined with Yahweh Bashim Abishai, they be wondering why uh, why this happened to my baby. Why Jake getting gunned down? We have to come together. We have to be peaceful, which we are not in those times. Because Yahweh Bashim Abishai is going to judge this world very soon. He's doing it right now. He's visiting this world as we speak. And that's by afflicting the world with these divine plagues. Going into the global famine collapse, the inflation, the pestilences, and all that type of energy and vibration is going to hit two thirds of our people very hard, which is that same generation coming back in the process called reincarnation. So this is definitely that last generation. So you gave up your Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which is a spiritual major curse upon you in this day, upon your seed. Then you cannot forget about the prayer King David made in the book of Psalm 69 chapter of the Spirit, when he stated, add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Meaning the perfection, meaning having the understanding of the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this knowledge. This is what makes you perfect, complete, and whole in the spirit. So two-thirds of our people, that wicked generation, wasn't given that spiritual eyesalf. And to be able to obtain this precious word. So that's why their table has become a snare before them. So this word is supposed to be for us as the Israelites, for our welfare, for our benefit, as the hope we let. But unto two thirds of our people, that wicked generation, that generation Z, unto them it's become a stumbling block, a trap. And that's why Jake cannot get it within these last days. And that spiritual curse that's upon two thirds of our people, that wicked generation, from them giving up Yahweh Shai, along with King David making that prayer upon them in the spirit, which is a curse. And also what they did to the prophets of old. So now it makes sense in the spirit when you read Wisdom of Solomon in the third chapter, as for the children of adulterers, speaking about two thirds of our people, they should not come to their perfection. Going right back again to come into this knowledge. So it's like a snare, a trap, a stumbling block unto them. It's like they're groping in the noon day. They're groping in darkness. And the heavenly father Yahweh wants two thirds of our people in that mindset when Yahweh Shah comes back to be in that unwise conduct, that foolish behavior, be all tapped in into these dumb challenges. And it also goes on to say within the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, how if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial. That main day of trial is referring to the times of Jacob's trouble. Well, we as the hopeful elect or doing what we have to do by spiritually training, getting our minds, our spirits right with Yahweh Bashim Abishai, so we can be more aligned with Yahweh Bashim Abishai, so we can be protected in these troublesome times, where two thirds of our people are going to be caught out there naked, lacking, no spiritual protection or coverage. So we want that spiritual insurance by Yahweh Bashim Abishai, allowing His holy angels to look out for us. So this wicked generation, that generation Z, is definitely that last generation. And I was just thinking about it also in the spirit, you have majority of these modern women, especially these young women, like in their 20s, or just coming up in these teenage years, like they have blue hair, purple hair, green hair. And I was just thinking like, man, just think about these type of so-called women being grandmothers. Just think about how more bugged out that line of generation will be by having unfit mothers and grandmothers like that. So this is definitely that last generation where the moral code principles are on a very downward spiral and all this foolish behavior, unwise conduct is nothing but folly. And that's why I stated that folly is set in great dignity. This is held in high regard here in America by doing these dumb challenges which is utter confusion. And so that's why Yahweh Bashim Abishai is going to wipe away the city of confusion. 
the two thirds of our people who are plugged in into this matrix, who are plugged into the fashion of this world. So they had to be discarded and rightfully so. So in Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, it goes into at the end, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. That's referred to this last generation, Generation Z. So I brought this up, y'all. Edify, y'all. Stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom.